In Creole Parametric 6.0, there is a new chart tool that replaces the old graph tool for any applications in Creo that creates a graph, whether it is in Mechanism, where I am right now, or Creo Simulate, or BMX, or anywhere a graph is created. So let's take a look at an example of this. So in a previous video, I showed how to create a trace curve when you run a mechanism. Just to show that again, here I have this backhoe going through a range of motion and it, I can use it to generate a curve that tracks a point. I created some measures to track the distance of that point for the magnitude and X, Y, and Z relative to the default coordinate system. So let's select all of those measures and my results and to generate a graph of these, I'll click on the button in the upper left hand corner. So far, all I've done is the same as in Creo Parametric 5.0 and earlier. What's different is when you get into the graph. And so you can see it has a modern look to it as opposed to the way that the old graph tool looked. But where you get the real power is this button in the upper left hand corner. And if you have used the chart tool in PTC MathCAD 5.0, then you're familiar with all the power and capability that you have here. And so let's go through some of these different settings from left to right. So for example, right now the graph uh, background is a solid color and it is white. And as I hover my mouse over here, you can see how as I change the different colors, the background color changes. And instead of doing a solid color, you can also do a gradient and choose the start and ending color for it. And if you select something and realize you don't like it, just click on the eraser, which will return you back to the original settings. All right, for the legend, here you see the legend down at the bottom. You can choose whether you have a border around it or not. Right now it is showing up under the graph and to the left. We could put it at the top and to the right so you can con control where it is being displayed over there. And from the title, right now this is being called Trace Curve Kinematic. I don't like that name. Let's call this Distances of trace point and the location is above and center and similarly if you go to the drop down list you can control where that is being displayed and put a border around it change the background color if you want so again it's like complete configuration of how your graph ends up looking Next up, let's go to the x-axis, and for the x-axis right now we have tick marks, which you can toggle on or off. You can also control the tick mark values, whether they are being displayed. From grid lines, do you want to display the x-axis grid lines, and do you want minor tick marks? Here we have the title, time in seconds. Maybe I want to get rid of the seconds out of there. And then the setup. Right now it is using a range of zero to five seconds, which probably corresponds to my analysis, but you could also change to a user defined range. And the same things apply for the Y axis. Again, I might want to go to the title over here, just change this to distance. And again, you see it updating immediately. Then you have your different traces. So for example, and it's highlighting trace one over here so you can tell one from the other. And right now for the shape, it is using a circle. Maybe I want to use a cross instead. Control the color, I could change that to red. And for the actual line that's going through it, I could change that to red as well. Again, you can do this for each one of the different traces. Uh, configure it exactly how you want it to appear. And then when you are happy, uh, you could take the data and either export it directly to an Excel file, export it to a text file with a .grt extension, short for graph tool. And then also you could send this to a printer and here's where we can choose to output it to maybe a JPEG image so that we could then 
incorporate it as an image in a report. So again, the graph tool, really nice, really convenient and easy for getting your graphs to look professional, exactly the way that you want and print quality. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolwindchill.com. If you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.